Are you trying to learn art and improve your art skills, but don't want to spend money on classes? Well, I'm here to help. Today, we're going to take a look at some free resources that I use to improve my art. So the first one is draw a box. So if you're a complete beginner, this site is for you. There's a lot of free content in here and they are divided into lessons where you can start learning regardless if you are a traditional or digital artist. So when I started taking my learning seriously, draw a box was one of the first things that I got into. So it really helped me learn how to draw with your arm instead of your wrist, for example, and also how to kind of visualize things into shapes, like the practices of drawing the box and different things. So these lessons start with just learning the basics of drawing lines and simple shapes like boxes and cylinders. It teaches you a bit about perspective, then it goes into organic shapes and then moves into plants and animals and a lot more lessons. One of the fun things about Draw a Box is that they have some challenges that will actually help you improve. For example, they have the 250 box challenge or the 100 treasure chest challenge. So doing these exercises or these challenges will help you actually grasp some of these basic fundamentals that will get you started if you're a complete beginner. Of course, these exercises are also very good if you are not a beginner and you want to improve on perspective and shape and form as well. So the next one that I'm going to talk about is Proco.com. So Proco.com also has a lot of free lessons and they also have some paid ones. But the free lessons alone, if you want to learn about portrait drawings or figure drawings, are enough to get you started and get you going. And the lessons there, there's a lot of YouTube videos or videos in general on their website that will give you the basics that you need without having to pay. As you can see, a lot of these ones are, are for free and you can watch them and then they have a bunch that are locked that you have to pay for. But if you're just starting and you want to learn, a lot of these things are available here and gets you started and gets you going. Another website or resource that I find helpful, and it's not really videos, but it's if you're trying to uh, paint and you don't know what colors to use, this website here, color.adobe.com, has different color harmony rules that you can use or you can select and using this you can just select the colors that you want and it will tell you for example what is the complementary color that you can use with your desired color or what are the um, analogous colors that you can use if for example you want to have blue as your main color so this really helps me when I'm trying to choose colors and as you use this more and more you'll be able to get familiar with the colors that work together and you might not need this one as much after that. So the next few are going to be a bunch of artists that provide free videos and free materials that you can watch and learn from. So the first one is Mark. So Mark and his channel were one of the things that really helped me keep going and got me to learn more and more about digital art and to this day I really tune in every week to try and see what is the next video that he'll post to see how can I learn more and how I can improve more. So for example he has some beginner videos on for example learn to draw in 30 days that goes through simple and basic exercises or you can go to more advanced topics for example like dynamic poses or he has another one on foreshortening. He also covers other topics, for example, on the fastest way to improve at your art, for example, or some really good tips to help you study rather than technical tips and technical tutorials. The next person is Tyler. So Tyler's channel is more tailored to intermediate to advanced rather than beginner. And he talks a lot about composition and how to improve composition and really the rules and techniques to help you do great paintings and illustrations. He also runs challenges on his Discord uh, channel where he picks a topic and then people submit illustrations and then he makes videos where he does critique on the entries and then goes through them and then gives suggestion on how the paintings can be improved. So, so for example, the latest challenge that he had was about Zelda and then he took some of the entries and then he went through them and then did an analysis on how these paintings could be improved. Uh, so I really like his channel if you're trying to learn composition and improve your composition. Okay, the next person I have is Michael Hampton. So Michael Hampton is really focused on figure drawing and anatomy. 
and he also has a book about uh, just gesture figure drawing and learning how to draw anatomy in general and his youtube channel he does some demonstrations on the topics that he covers in his book and it really helps give an idea on how to do figure drawing in in his way and he really explains it well some of the videos are non-commentary but some of them do have commentary explaining his process and i think if you're trying to learn gesture drawing and figure drawing it is a great place to start where he does these demonstrations and shows you how to do these things so the next one that i have is marco bucci so marco bucci talks a lot about light and color values and really goes deep into it and if you can learn from his videos the importance of value and how to study value in general he also shows how to use different colors and how to do light and shadow in your paintings in order to improve at that and do better better paintings in general so i feel after you learned a little bit about drawing and sketching in general you can jump into his channel and learn more about color and and light and and values and learn how to apply it in your paintings and then the next youtuber that i have here is cynics so cynics also talks a lot about color and light and he also shows uh, in his videos the importance of value and also he does some some demonstrations and some tutorials how to paint different parts of the body for example he has videos on how to draw the hands or how to draw the eye he has some on painting the skin and when watching those you learn a little bit about his technique and you learn some new ways of really painting you can really benefit from it regardless if you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced uh, advanced artist so the next resource uh, that i have used sometimes is instagram so i usually don't look for educational content here but this artist devin uh, posts a lot of things on her stories that then turns into highlights where she breaks down the process of her paintings and really teaches you how to think and learn about her process she does amazing paintings and uses color very effectively and when she analyzes and breaks down her process you can learn quite a bit from these things she goes really into detail and it tries to explain how to do these things and how to add the colors in different parts of the painting so if you really are looking for something to look at and learn something different other than just watching videos you can just go on Devin's uh, Instagram page and look at these things and learn how she does these paintings and the process that goes behind it so as you can see there are so many free resources available online to everyone to learn how to draw and paint and these are not the only things that are available and I'm sure there are many many more these are just the ones that I have been using but if you want to learn about the fastest way to improve your art, you can watch this video here.